Tonga versus Larry. So be sure to have both streams open because we're going to have my have hype matches all day long. For sure. Of course, you know, Goblin, Yoda Cage, and then uh, the 2G gaming stream, Tonga and Larry Lur. But let's get into this. I mean, we've been talking about this match. You know it's going to be a little bit difficult once Yoda Cage gets hit. You know, we should really see combo videos coming out from Goblin. Here we go. And it's uh, going to be on Yoda Cage to make sure that he uses uh, those tilts that DK has, try to keep him at bay. But that burst damage on Roy is so, so good. Oh, Roy is the boy. Okay. Up throw. Back air not going to connect. Yeah, I like uh, the, the the awareness of that. He just made sure that he died out. Air dodge away from him. He's like, bro, I don't want to get hit by any combos that DK does. So it's whatever. And the back air trading with the, uh, the nair of uh, Yoda Cage. And uh, not going to work out well for him. So, so far... Oh, I like that option from uh, Yoda Cage. A little cargo thrown to the stage, kind of force the tech situation. Yeah, whenever we see Yoda Cage really get a grab of the leg, that's kind of the option I'm expecting from him. But wow, talk about a corner carry. Forget the corner. Let's take him all the way off stage. Here we go. And now he's getting at the percent where a uh, little bit of uh, jab back, jab back air. God. Yeah, jab back air, especially at the ledge. We see a couple of down tilts. Gets a grab, holding his shield a little bit too long. Yoda Cage forced to get a regrab. Oh, wow. Great that, use of armor. And that didn't scoop the way he wanted it to. Okay, I like the uh, recovery back to stage. No, no one's home for that fair, my friend. I'm sorry. And the Nair going to take it. So, uh, Goblin not running away with it. Yoda Cage is still DK, so he still could kill him. Yeah, well, Yoda Cage is not, not exactly happy. Losing his stock from, uh, from Nair at the ledge. <laughs> And Yoda Cage having the biggest difficulty trying to get a kill, but that uh, recovery falling a little bit short. So, uh, yeah, and Goblin had to like space his up be like that because you know Yoda Cage was looking for the back air. So he just wanted to get the trade for a multi hit for that back air that would have definitely gotten a kill. Yes. So he's going for the uh, the jab, but a little stall in the air for the side beam. Yeah, even going for like cross up back air just in case Yoda Cage does want to turn around and, like try and get the approach. But up B out of shield. Where Yoda K is going to put a good amount of damage on Goblin. Falling up air into a sour spot up air. Very unfortunate for Goblin, but there's the double edge dance. Very, very powerful move that side B, man. Very strong. So, unfortunately, uh, what we're looking at here between, you know, Goblin and Cage is that, like, sure, they're trading, but it's just like, <laughs> of course, Roy's going to win all the trades. You know what I'm saying? His moves are faster, and they hit way, way harder. So... Yeah, you'll even see like <coughs> moments where uh, both the players will trade and then Roy will just recover quicker. Yeah. But now we have a character switch from Yoda Cage. We bring in out a Koopaling. So is this make, is this like, well, this is a, a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, DK not being as big, won't get comboed as hard. And you'll have a, a projectile to kind of circumvent the pressure that Roy does, but uh, you got the same situation. I mean, once, you, once Roy gets you on ledge, the edge guarding starts with the with the jabs and the up airs and the and the and the fairs and raw bears and things like that. Okay, okay, but look at this item game coming from Goblin. What? I was gonna say maybe matchup unfamiliarity might play a part here, but I don't think we're, uh, you know doesn't doesn't look like uh, Goblin's yeah. unfamiliar. Yeah. Unfamiliar also just don't care. This man just continuously swinging and knew he was gonna go for the forward smash on ledge. But even look at the way that Goblin is approaching Yoda Cage. Yoda Cage, like, committing to using the Mecha Koopa and just full hop right over it. Perfect space in between the Mecha Koopa and the Koopa Ling and landing a forward air. All right, and you got to be really, really careful the way you land on that plat, too, just because this man could go for a side to Whoop. Ooh, the Koopa Kart killing? Okay. Man, I've seen that Koopa Kart kill way too many times. But Nair back air, not going to kill from center stage. Even throwing out a uh, cannonball to cover the recovery. Okay, my man Yoda Cage kind of uh, handling it way better than he did before. Yeah, Nair out of shield. As soon as, uh, as soon as Goblin really be touching shields, you should be starting seeing like Nairs and uh, Nairs are grabbed really. Yeah. And the way all the shield pressure's been happening, like eventually something is definitely something is gonna shield pose. Oh, interesting. Down here actually hit the Ko Mecha Koopa, extended the hitbox. But still, uh, Yoda Cage was able to escape, but back air is going to land. That's going to put, uh, take the first stock off Mecha Koopa. 
And that jab, uh, once that, once it gets to about like what, like a hundred, like a hundred, hundred and thirty, that jab starts to get a little bit of kill potential on that. So, oh, especially at the ledge, yeah. That jab is ridiculous when it comes to kills. Okay, retreating to the other side of the stage. Double Koopa Cart, double Clown Cart. Yep, and just more combos coming out. Like uh, we see a little bit more patience coming out from Goblin this stop around. But Yoda Cage got them at 96. Playing real, real solid at the moment. Yeah, even doing it, an air dodge out of uh, the ejection button in case the Goblin like, was trying to set up for something at the ledge. Ooh, look at that. That ledge guard with the fair coming out from Yoda Cage. He said, hey, look, the Bowser Jr. is definitely out the DK. You ain't going to be comboing me left and right no more, man. That's true. And, like, I mean, think about the tools that he has access to now that he's switched to Koopaling. He has a move that will allow him to help approach, has armor if he needs it. A better, more vertical recovery. Okay, a little combo game coming out right now from Cage. 46% on him. Yeah, swinging the wand around. All right, Nair out of shield. Okay, Goblin. Having a little bit of difficulty trying to seal the stock on Yoda Cage right now, man. This man's at 119, but you're Roy. Uh, where'd that cannonball come from? Yeah, so Yoda Cage has been doing that a couple times already. What he'll do is he'll, uh, while he's in the bubble, he'll shoot the cannonball, and after it travels for a certain distance, it starts to fall, and it still remain, uh, retains its active hitbox. Okay, still throwing out a lot of nares, but up B out of shield from Goblin. It's gonna be what puts a little bit more damage on Yoda Cage. Ooh, going for the double edge dance on the platform. Got to, man. Uh, you know, trying to make these, get these uh, kill opportunities anywhere I can, but the double edge dance still kills. Mm -hmm. Yeah, having a little bit of difficulty just trying to really break the, the defensive pressure from Goblin. Yeah. But Yoda K is going to drop down into losers now. Still in the tournament. Definitely. So still more chance to get more uh, more DK action. Yeah, more, hopefully. Hopefully. Like uh, that kill condition was uh, clear. For Goblin. That man was like, look, bro, if I side B you with this percent ad legs, you're going to die anyway, so it doesn't matter. And that, that was his whole game plan from stock and poor Yoda Cage. Yeah, I mean, Yoda Cage was doing a good job of, like, actually pressuring Goblin, especially, like, center stage. He just committed to the clown cart just a little too just hard. Like, just a little too hard. You know? And the and the pressure that Yoda Cage was doing to uh, Roy offstage, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It was very, very good, but it's just kind of difficult against a character like Roy where, like, Roy has this, just this, this game plan, this kill condition that's so simple to execute. And, and the, uh, the worst part is, like, Goblin can actually camp out uh, Yoda Cage if he wanted to. He could just, like, commit to, like, falling fares the entire time. Yeah. And it makes it really difficult for for uh, Koopaling to challenge that if, unless they want to challenge with their own fares. In which case, you know, you got a fair to fair option. Who's going to come out on top of that? Um, yeah, not <laughs> that's not what's up. <laughs> not what's up at all. So uh, next up, it looks like we're going to have uh, Zuck. After his uh, performance uh, a couple uh, game or so ago versus uh, Wadi, that boy Wadi, 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 Rob, uh, Rick, Rob Richter. I don't think Rob is worried at all. No, yeah, no, no, no I don't think. Uh, I think we're going to see the Rob come out. We're going to see a lot of projectiles, <laughs> huge projectile war. Um, but on the other stream, don't forget that we do in fact have two streams. And uh, we have Rivers versus YMCA. So if you don't have the multi twitch, I don't know if we're there. Are we doing the? We are doing squat stream. Yeah, have them both on. Hit that button. Yeah. Where's that squat stream? Hit yes. Hit yes. <laughs> Hit yes. Right now, you guys are uh, watching some sweet DK action on the other stream right now, and I am of not. Of course. This makes it very sad. Okay, but we're gonna take a quick ad break. Oh wait, are we break? We're not breaking. We're just we got some ads to talk about, man. Look at this. Marcin's Domain. Have you heard of this? King Croc highlights and montages? You should have checked out YouTube.com, Marcin's Domain. He got the live streams with quick play analysis and labbing, wider range of content, all things Nintendo, YouTube.com slash Marsden Domain. And don't forget about the 2GG giveaway. You got a Nintendo Switch Lite with the Pokemon bundle. Not only a pretty good game, but also a pretty good uh, console. I held it in my hand and it, it felt so comfortable. Yeah, it's comfortable. And of course, this is just in time for the holidays too. So if you're you got someone special someone in their life, they don't have Pokemon, they don't have a Nintendo Switch Lite, enter this giveaway. You might just get that present for free. And don't forget, uh, 
Bash Fest, twenty thousand. Uh, how much? <laughs> twenty thousand <000 laughs> prize pool, February twenty first to the twenty third, in the Delta Hotels by the Marriott. And that's in uh, Burnaby, British Columbia, four thirty four forty three thirty one Dominion Street, uh, in Canada. So tgs.gg slash bash. Yeah, and so then, get your passports. And then follow Cosmos. Follow Cosmos. Inkling specialist. He's a free agent right now, man. He's got go some weeby emotes. <laughs> so if you're into that weeb, you know, if you're into the weeb life, right there, just toss that boy $4.99 a month. You get access to all those amazing emotes. And, of course, you know, he's got some printed.